morning, Chargers. I'm Savannah Bell. I'm Rena Robinson. I'm Kennedy Mark. I'm Abby Forget. I'm Kenny Smith. I'm Jared I'm Emile and Matt. And I'm Jordan Hines. I'm Brianna Santos. I'm Kayla Derrick. I'm Alyssa Graziosi. I'm Tina Black. Good morning. It is going to be a pretty good day. Aaliyah Simmons is here. She stays with us today as temperatures will reach 91 degrees. Right, let's go to Sierra, who is here with today's weather forecast. Hey, girls. Are you excited? I am. And this is the morning show on CTN. Good morning, Chargers. I'm Cami Sin, and this is the morning show on CTN. I'm Savannah Bellin. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2015. We hope you liked our new morning show intro. Here are today's top stories. There's been a lot of Charger sports being played. We'll talk about some outstanding athletes coming up. And if you love dogs, you're going to love our story about an 80-year-old man who does something special for strays. If you don't love dogs, we're going to tug at your heartstrings anyway. First, let's go to Amelia for today's weather. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning. It's another cool morning in Newcastle, but the temperature today will be warm up to 81 degrees. The sun will be in and out, but luckily there isn't any rain coming our way. Back to you, Cammie. Thanks, Amelia. Attention all CTN staff members. Mr. Ford needs to see you in his classroom for two minutes at lunch recess today. I mean tomorrow. Lunch today is grilled cheese and soup. Celebrities celebrating birthdays today are Stephanie McMahon, the chief brand of officer of World Wrestling Entertainment, who turns 38, and Muppets creator Jim Henson, who would have been 79 today. We'd like to recognize last week's Charged Up Athletes of the Week that were recognized by the Athletic Association. For Varsity Volleyball Blue, Delaney Bianco in Grade 7. For Varsity Volleyball Yellow, hey Savannah, it's you! Congratulations! Oh hey, thanks. I forgot I played volleyball so well. Go me! For Junior JV Soccer, Morgan Snyder and Justine Pankowski in Grade 3. For varsity soccer, Amelia Matt in grade 7, and finally for combined cheerleading, Nick Butler in grade 6. Congratulations to the Charged Up Athletes of the Week. We would like to congratulate everyone who was a winner at this morning's award ceremony. Thank you for all you do to make our school a better place. Speaking of making a place better, let's talk about Eugene Bostick, an 80-year-old retired man living in Fort Worth, Texas. Mr. Bostick owns a horse barn on a dead-end street and noticed that people would go to the area to abandon their dog. Mr. Bostick and his brother decide to take in the stray dogs, feed them, and give them shelter. He also wanted to take them on trips outside the farm. One day I was out and I seen this guy with a tractor who attached these carts to pull rocks. I thought, dang, that would do... That would do for a dog train, said Bostick. He now uses the makeshift train to take the dogs through the streets to a nearby forest or creek. The dogs get so excited when he hooks a tractor up to it, and they all come, come running and jump in on our throne. Last year, Eugene and his dogs made it on the local news after taking a ride through a golf course. Eugene's brother, Corky, told a local TV station that he rides last in half an hour and are great for both the dogs and their family. Corky said, I have been feeding the wildlife for over 30 years here, and I'm going to live another 30. I'm only 86. My wife said if I didn't get up and do this, I'd be dead. Eugene Bostick saw these dogs being abandoned, and instead of saying someone should do something about this, he decided something about it, to do something about it himself, 
and bring joy into the lives of these animals. Here's a short clip of Eugene and his dog train. <laughs> Let's hope that we would also have the love in our heart to get up and do something instead of waiting for someone else to act. Here's Abby with today's inspiring quote. Good morning. Every time we have an award ceremony, there are the kids who win every time, the kids who are shocked that, shocked that they did actually win, and the kids who think they'll never win. Well, kids who think you will never win, this is the quote for you. It comes to use from Roald Dahl's book, The Witches. The quote says, it is most unlikely, but, and here it comes, the big but, it is not impossible. If you believe you can win, then we believe you can win an award this year. It's not impossible. Back to you, Cammie and Savannah. Thanks, Abby. For Savannah, Abby, and the rest of our crew, this is Cammie. Senate, hoping you have a Charger Thursday. See you tomorrow.